Jealously, Today's story of the week is all about poo, our favourite topic. Uh, no, but it's about pooping when you give birth. Yes. Because that's a thing. We yes. all know it's a thing. And the story More was... More common than we, you know, yeah, admit uh, maybe. Admit, exactly. So the lowdown on this story is a bloke has a partner. They go to her sister's barbecue uh-huh. with some friends. They're all sitting around. The sister admits that she pooped during childbirth. She shat herself. So she admits it on her behalf. She admits it, yeah. Uh And everyone's like, oh, that didn't happen with me, (laughs) including the sister, the other sister. She's like to her sister, no, Lana, uh, I didn't shit myself. That's crazy. Well, you hang her out to dry. Yeah, then then it proceeds to just hang shit on her, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> too, many, too much hanging out, leaving everyone on their own to suffer in shit. Yeah, right? sort of kind of humiliating her. Yeah. So he steps up to the plate and actually sticks up for the sister and he's kind of like saying what you did is really common, yes. all this bonanza. Um, the sister doesn't let up on her sister and starts going crazy. Are you understanding the sister, Burnett, what I'm saying with the sister? Does no, you sense? know where someone goes in a story and they go, my sister, my sister, my sister, and you, you, something <laughs> happens to my brain, it loses out. <laughs> there are these sisters, fucking hell, let's call one line. If, you, if you caught on at home, I'm extremely impressed. Me at the moment, there's monkey and symbols. Yeah. But go on, okay. all I know is birth, shit, and people are leaving people out. Okay. The mean sister says to the pants shitting sister. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God, I can't believe you shat yourself. Ha, ha, ha. Continues to berate her. Uh. So the partner says, you know what, honey, you shat yourself. (laughs) I've never told you this, but anyway, she's... Cue her face. Cue her face, lady. Mortified. She's passive aggressive, upset with him, ignores him, goes and sits in the car for the rest of the barbecue. That She sits in the car. Yeah. Because she's pissed off at him. But serve, I think serves your bloody right. What are you going to do in the car in your own cage of emotion? <laughs> right? You go and put yourself <laughs> in the Oh, well, shit. And then you might turn a vent off or something. No. Like, do you know what I mean? I oh, know. It's, it's a prison to put yourself in there. Don't it do is. that. I know. I'm going to wait until Darren comes out and then we can just drive home. Yeah. So she was pissed off. He's so- not coming home. <laughs> Dropping him at his mum's. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. But it does raise the point. Pooping when you're giving birth, super common. But that's one thing pregnant women freak out about. Yeah, they do. Not the birth. Because it's am humiliating, I shit they think. In front of a doctor. Yeah. A whole staff of people, your husband and whoever whoever else is in the room. Yes. Did a you? bunch of med students. <laughs> now you, because I was with the pooping situation because I had cesareans. Did you poop during your birth? Your I natural don't know. Birth? No one's told me, potentially with my second, I don't think so. I said to Dan, did I? And he said, no, you didn't. But look, some might have creeped out. I don't know. <laughs> you know a little nugget? Yeah. <laughs> a little Malteser that little shoots across the room. Exactly. <laughs> so I can't say. Uh, he says no, but I can't say that that didn't happen. And if right. it did, zero fucks given. Okay. 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 But one story I do have is one of my very good friends, um, she pooped. Quite a bit. Right. Because it needed to come out, obviously, with her child. I think she had quite a traumatic labour. So much so that when her daughter, Lucy, came out, she had um, – she, oh, <laughs> she <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to say. She scooped her up and she – you know, your first look at your child yeah. for the first time mm-hmm. and they go, you're a beautiful baby. Here she is. She's got her on her chest. She goes, oh, I didn't want to hold her. She stunk. <laughs> Was there poo on the head? It was like poo on her or something. They didn't was, clean it up? I don't know. I can't remember whether they didn't clean it up or and she seen it or she could just smell shit on oh, her newborn baby. Born into a pile of shit, they say. It's true. It yeah. can be true for some don't of us. Don't start as you mean to go on. But <laughs> she literally had this moment that oh, she no. thought, okay, we all have this idea that birth is going to be beautiful, yeah. right? And then they're here and they stink as shit. <laughs> That birthing moment, though, when you do get the baby for the first time, yeah. would you think, you know, there's going to be angels singing and, you know, I don't know, Daryl maybe, maybe it's going to come out playing guitar. Maybe a bluebird Serenade. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like Dumps, in, like, butterflies. Like it's Cinderella. It's such a moment. Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> but my moment was not like that at all because I could not feel myself from the tits down because I was completely numb from right. the... And you had a blue shower yeah, cap on. Yeah, blue hot. shower cap, looking hot as, <laughs> looking like... Jesus crucified on the cross because my <laughs> arms are out. They put the baby, I think it was Wolfie, when they put him on my shoulder, 
I, I, I went, oh, my God, wow, amazing, there's a baby, but completely emotionless because I'm on a cocktail of drugs, so <laughs> I have no feeling whatsoever. And I'm holding him, but he's crying very loud in my <laughs> ear, like very, like, like loud. And I'm there going, oh, and I just said, Kai, can you please take him? Like I've literally <laughs> had this kid for like 30 seconds and I'm already like palming him, <laughs> palming him off. Can you please just get him away? Like he's loud in my ear. Like I just want to <laughs> lie here and be sewn up in peace, please. Like, oh, that is so yeah. funny. Between you wanting peace and my mate having a shit smelling baby. Yeah. What are we like? I know. I'm still trying to give my kid back now. Like, <laughs> it's just never ended. Like you said. It's expired. The warranty's gone. He's <laughs> yours now. <laughs> I secretly wish you'd pooped though. That would make for a good story. I, as a, again, I can't say I didn't shoot out a Malteser. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> To this I, day I she doesn't like Maltese. I've been told not, but you know what? Who knows? Could be. Mm, kind of wish I did. Right in the right in the face of the obstetrician. <laughs> right in the eye. Right in the brown eye. <laughs> Ow! Like that. You've just got this ball teaser. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have split my ass to my vagina. <laughs> a fourth degree tear. Is that even a thing? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, there's degrees, oh, but anyway. Wrap yes. that up. Anyway, Do, yeah. poop. Yeah. Pooping. Pooping.